Hello folks and welcome back to whatever day this happens to be of our Tesla powered Panzer project. So good news is we have the axle beam in, uh, we got our custom solid mounts made and lined up perfectly. Uh, so that's in. We just don't have the washers on the bottom at the minute because we're just doing trial fitting here. We chopped out a little bit of the chassis rail to let everything fit and it all fits in great. At the minute, we've refitted one of the trailing arms and it's, uh, it's now set at the normal uh, right height of the original subframe, which is pretty much again bang on where we want it to be in terms of the suspension ge ge geometry here. Uh, the Tesla motor is roughly in position to where we want it to be, our drive unit I suppose I should call it. Um, a little bit more chopping out of the boot floor area there to do just to get it all set up. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. Uh, at the minute so the next part of the plan is to basically plate up the differential hole there so we can make a mounting uh, for the front motor mount then we'll be running a beam across between the two chassis rails here to pick up the rear mount we'll be triangulating the subframe then back up to these mounting points here and probably even loop it back to the beam that we'll be putting in that'll pick up uh, this side mounting then and that will be the pretty much the drive unit and the subframe beam in uh, so the next challenge then is to start looking at suspension so with this guy here at our desired height you can see this is our suspension mount onto the hub and that's the uh, normal uh, shock absorber mount so we'll need a pretty short coil over uh, to go in there to work that out we have to strengthen up that mounting too because it'll now be, ta be taking uh, the weight of the vehicle so may need to come down back down to this chassis rail here with that, uh, what else? Yeah, no, that's about it. That's about what we've got for today. Um, plenty more going on. And uh, yeah, there it is. So if we get under now, uh, pretty much see that everything's gone out of the Traditional engine bay here, tunnel, whole lot is completely empty. Uh, we come back here to our beam, uh, which is basically on its mountings at the minute. But we will be also using uh, these mounting points here to strengthen this up um, on both sides. It'll be reused and you see swing arms are in we're pretty much centered here on the differential uh we've got it leveled up and uh we're pretty much getting ready now to start sorting out the mountings so on the back we'll have a mounting from here to the beam this is going to be strengthened across to these points here and here and on the front then, uh, let me get in here, we'll be basically going from, you see the metal plate on the the, um, the differential housing there, we'll be going to uh, both to the motor and then up to that additional strengthening box section uh, that we've put in here. 
So this will be a three-way connection on the front. And we'll have a one-way connection on the back, but we're gonna basically, as I said, double strengthen up on these corners here uh, to this box section. So this is kind of where we're at now. Starting the fabrication process uh, to start mounting this machine in here. Oh, lots of space for batteries and to clean up all of the wiring and my power steering system is not too bad but I do have a bit of a fluid leak here the radiator can come out and change that With all of this lovely space in here putting batteries and cables and whatever else we need and uh, have to plate this up here and take out the gear lever that I slave to get working oh no someone sealed up the differential okay so right now we are basically mocking up the mountings for the motor uh, to our bolt-in su uh, subframe. So this section here will unbolt basically from the frame of the, of the car. It will be bolted up here and on the far side and bolted up to the beam here. And we'll be mounting uh, the motor both here and inside we have another uh, template in there. Let me see if I can get in there and show you that. And there'll be a bushing going to the uh, going to the subframe uh, beam there, the plate that we've over the differential hole. And uh, so it's starting to starting to come together. Alrighty folks, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, we have plenty more fun stuff in terms of the Panzer Tesla experience coming your way soon. So don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, check the links in the description uh, for my Patreon and PayPal email donations should you wish to make a financial contribution to all this crazy stuff. Uh, failing that, we will see you all in the next video and um, happy subframe installation. <laughs>